A barcode scanner uses light to read a code made up of bands of black and white bars. The computer links the code with data about the barcoded item. In a supermarket, for example, the computer can display and print the name and prices of the item, record the sale for the store's records, and even keep track of how many of those items remain in stock. Barcodes consist of a series of alternating black bars and white spaces. There are many different barcodes. Each one uses a specific arrangements of bars and spaces of different widths to stand for a letter, number, or other character. Bands that indicate the beginning and end of the code enable the scanner to read either forward or backward. Most supermarket checkout counters use laser scanners to read barcodes. The laser, housed beneath the clear glass window on the checkout counter, produces a beam of light that shines through a beam spreader, then onto a partially silvered tilted mirror. The mirror reflects the light up through a rotating disc. The disc focuses and directs the beam through the scanner window. As the cashier drags each barcoded item across the scanner window, the laser light scans the barcode. Light that hits the spaces between the black bars is reflected back through the scanner window, through the mirror, and onto a detector below. The bursts of light striking the detector correspond to the width of the black bars and white spaces of the barcode. The detector changes these bursts onto a digital signal that is sent to the computer for processing. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.